Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, people? What's popping? What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So uh, this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get women to pay for dates, man. I mean, we got to get into this. But uh, before we get into all that, I shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, shout out to April MC in the building, holding it down. Unique 79, holding it down. You feel what I'm saying? As soon as you get in, hit the like button and all that other good stuff. But, uh, you know, let's, 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 uh, you know, take care of some, some advertisements real quick as people are getting in and I'm not going to be here too long. You guys can call in 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224. So if you want to call in, call in, if you want to put a, uh, if you want a question or if you have a question, you can put a Q in the chat. And we can get a cracking, but let's uh let's let's get to this uh Game Kings trailer. All of you guys should have Game Kings. If you don't have Game Kings, go to MrLocario.com or BadBoyMembership.com to get a crack. Everybody has game. The thing is, though, is your game weak or is your game strong? See, that's the difference. See, having weak game is synonymous with having no game. But you have game. You have a strategy to get what you want, but your strategy might be weak. I always tell these guys, snap your fingers, and I tell them, snap your fingers, like. You hear that sound? I'm like, what is that sound? Bitch, that's a 17 year old that just turned 18. That's a 19 year old that just turned 21. They are just, turn they, they, they're everywhere. Hi, how you doing? You think I give a fuck about how you doing, bitch? All I want you to motherfucking do is open your mouth and say something so I can hear how your voice sounds so it can tell me how the fuck to get at you. Your feelings are not facts. Because you feel like whatever you feel like, you can't get me to believe that there's more than two genders. You understand what I'm saying? And truthfully, I'm not sorry because I can't, I can't really make facts out of your fucking feelings. Matter of fact, fuck your feelings. There's only two genders, only two genders. You trying to tell me that genders are neutral and niggas is trying to come up with 92 fucking genders, bro. There's this narrative now that it's okay for a man to cry and it's really pushing this sensitivity, express yourself, express your feelings. One thing I've always respected about my father growing up, I never seen my dad cry. Me and him would get into arguments, we would go at it, we would fight, I would say the harshest things to him I could to hurt his feelings, but I never broke him. Shoot, just the right pair of shoes get your dick sucked. Just the right pair of shoes, women don't, seriously, you could be, you could look like Boris Cujo, you be six foot eight, you know, have a print down to your knee. They look at those shoes, they bust it. He's like, oh no, not him. Nah, but the, the bitches shine because of the nigga, period. Like, and, 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 and when it's functioning correctly, that's the way it is. So on that, on that note, dick is a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. You got to play your way from start to the end that's having game because if you do that what you expect is what's gonna happen see don't know accidents happen with motherfuckers that got game all right we are back we are back shout out to everybody in the chat shout out to at Tricky Trini, Dada Saints, Joe Blast in the building. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Man. So today I wanted to talk about something that I think is, is very important for you guys out here when it comes to your dating game. And it's how to get women to pay for dates right now. What up, Fabian K? You see he was in Bushwick. You, we always missing each other, bro. We got we, we got it. We got to get it together, man. You know what I'm saying? What up, Gabriel? What's going on? Um, so appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, so yeah, so basically what I did was, so I'm gonna say this off top. I just put a program on the Patreon. You understand? So I'm gonna, let me put this, uh, screen up here. This is the Patreon page, right? And when you go here, you go to patreon.com slash Mr. Locario, right? So you go down here, you scroll or whatever. And this is a little video talking about the Patreon or whatever it is like that. But the first thing I have on here, this thing right here, it says how to get women to pay for dates. So this is advanced game. So I have a, a show, a new show that I do on the Patreon called the advanced game show. 
You understand? On an advanced game podcast, I should say, right? And basically what I do is periodically, I take a specific topic and I, you know, talk about it in depth, you understand? On some advanced level stuff, you understand? Because the stuff I give on YouTube, um, you know, I give a lot of uh, free, you know, tidbits here and there, but the Patreon and the Bad Boy membership is where all of the exclusive hot, shit is. You feel what I'm saying? All the exclusive hot stuff. So if you guys are going to be out here, you know, going on these dates and all this other stuff. So I wanted to teach you how to get women to actually pay for the dates. You understand what I'm saying? How to get them to pay for the whole date or how to get them to pay for at least half the date. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, they'll love you for it. You feel what I'm saying? So I want to, I want to get you guys to understand that. So off top, um, you know, what I'm going to talk about in this video, right? I'm going to talk about, you know, uh, why this is important, why this is going to benefit and help you. Right. But if you want to get the how to's, if you want to get exactly how I'm telling you how to do this, get on the Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. It's on the $20 tier. You feel what I'm saying? And if you're on the $20 tier, right, uh, you also get how to have sex with two women a day, the ebook for free. So if you're on this $20 tier, you're going to get how to have sex with two women a day for free. So you get to, uh, you know, get the bad boy member, get, you get the bad boy show, all the bad boy shows. You get the, how to get women to pay for dates program. You understand what I'm saying? And you get how to have sex with two women a day for free. You understand? And that's all on the $20 tier. You feel what I mean? So if you guys want to get more in depth with that, you understand? That's how you do it. So tricky training. Yeah, that's the $20 tier. If you want to get up on that. Right. But today, what I'm going to talk about real quick, and you guys could call in, um, you know, I'm not going to be here too long. If you guys call in or you want to leave a, a, a cue in the chat for a question, then we could get that cracking. Um, if not, you could call in donation rules are in effect. You feel me. So if you guys want to call in, ask a question, send a donation, get it cracking. All right. So how to get women to pay for dates. Now, first of all, you have to understand this, right? Is that if you're a guy out here and you are interacting with women, right? You want to get shit cracking with women. If you want to be a guy who has a lot of casual sex, you do not. And I repeat, you do not have to go on dates. Okay. You do not have to go on dates. You understand what I'm saying? On the bad boy membership, I have a program called Just Have Sex With Her. You understand how to have sex without going on dates. On the Patreon, I have another program that teaches you how to get laid without going on dates. You understand? So how to get a girl from Tinder, all this other stuff, straight to your crib if you want to make it happen. You understand what I'm saying? So I teach you how to do that. Now, what you have to understand is, though, is that when it comes to going on dates or the reason why you would even want to go on a date is you want to be able to fill the girl out in in person. You understand if you met her online or something like that, or you want to fill her out a little bit, or this might be a girl that you're feeling out to see if she can be a chick that's more potential than just smashing. You understand what I'm saying? So you're filling her out in that way because what, what most people don't get is this. And I'll tell you this right now, as a guy who's, you know, been out here, you know, doing my player shit, fucking around with all these chicks. Sometimes what happens is, is that when you have sex with a girl quickly, you understand what I'm saying? If you have sex with a girl quickly, right? What's going to happen is, is that sometimes she's going to see you as just that guy to have sex with and keep it moving. You understand what I'm saying? So meaning you could get a girl off Tinder right now, match with her, get her to your crib tonight. You understand what I'm saying? Have sex with that girl. But let's say you're like, damn, I actually like this chick. She, she looked good. You understand what I'm saying? She seemed cool. I want to, I want to keep making shit happen with her. And sometimes what will happen is, is that you might not see that girl again. Why? Because you had sex with her that quickly. You understand? Mr. Dan, you said, if you don't tell us here how to let women pay on the date, then change the name of the video, bruh. Do you want me to, to, to block you out for five minutes? Do you want me to do that, Mr. Dan? You understand what I'm saying? Do you want that to happen, bruh? Stop trolling. Stop the trolling. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm talking about how to get women to pay for dates. I'm going to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you everything. That's what I'm saying. You guys got to go to Patreon to get the whole thing. 
You see what I'm saying? And let me let me let me say something real quick. This is why. Shout out to Mike Nicole. This in the building. Ultra Gold Chin D Wees. Let me tell you guys why it's hard for y'all to actually get shit popping with women because y'all want everything just to happen without you doing nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to invest no time, no energy, no money, nothing. You don't want to invest anything. You understand what I'm saying? Because even when you get girls to pay for dates, you still got to invest some time. You understand what I'm saying? See, a lot of dudes want to get shit with, because look, I say this about dudes who's tricking. At least the dudes who's tricking know they got to invest some fucking money to trick. You understand what I'm saying? They got to invest some money to get some pussy. You understand? But you can't have the mentality of trying to get shit without giving anything. It's it's impossible. It's not going to happen for you. And that's why dudes be having issues because they are expecting to get things without giving anything. You want the hottest girls without you giving any t- anything to the game, meaning you're not giving your time, energy, and attention to improving yourself to be attractive to a lot of different women. So how you expect to get that? That's what that's what I want to say to you guys. Like you have to get out that mentality and that mindset of trying to get something for nothing. It don't work that way. You see what I'm saying? It does not work that way. You know what I mean? But what I wanted to say is this. Uh, before I got off track, is that if you get a girl to come to your crib really quickly, right? A lot of times what will happen is she'll have sex with you, but then you will never see her again. Now, why is that? The reason why that happens sometimes is because she had sex with you so quickly, one, she may think you're going to look at her as a slut, so she doesn't want to face you again. You understand? So she may think she might even like you. She's like, damn, I don't fuck this guy really quickly. I don't want him to judge me. So I'm just going to keep it moving. I'm going to just like chalk that up to that was just a one night stand. I was I was, you know, it was my birthday. She started rationalizing. You know, I was it was I was out with my friends, my birthday. Let's just you know, I just did that because, you know, whatever. I was horny and let me keep it moving. Right. So she's scared that you're going to judge her. Now, two, another reason why you smash a girl quickly and then you never see her again is because that woman at that time literally just wanted the D. You understand what I'm saying? And she really wanted nothing to do with you beyond that. And on top of that, she doesn't see you as a guy who she would want something more from. You understand? Because she views you or sees you as the type of guy who is basically like a, you're, you're, you're a male thought, basically. You understand what I'm saying? Just like how you guys say you don't want to wife up uh, you know, a chick who's fucked around with a bunch of dudes and she's all over the place and, you know, right in the, the quote unquote cock carousel, the same way where you don't want to, um, wife that up, you understand certain chicks, when they see you around doing your shit, you understand what I'm saying? They don't want to fuck with you in that manner. You see what I'm saying? Because they're looking at you as you're the, you're the male thigh. You're the equivalent of the, the chick who's a slut. You understand what I'm saying? You're a whore. So she's looking at you like, yeah, I'm going to get my rocks off from this guy because I'm sexually attracted to him, but I do not take him seriously. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times that's the sort of energy that happens with the quick fucking. Now, again, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that being a thing, but understand that's a thing. So this is why sometimes when you just get straight to Hey, come to my crib. And then they do that. And you got to do your thing. This is why sometimes it doesn't pan out to anything because she saw you as that male thought. It is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? And some guys be thinking, man, maybe she didn't like, uh, you know, the sex or whatever. Now, there are times that happens, too. That's another reason. She might have not liked the sex. She might thought the sex was trash. You understand what I'm saying? She might have thought the sex was garbage. Right. And so therefore she don't hit you back. But in a lot of cases, she might like the sex. But again, since she sees you as the male thought, she might not kick it with you again. Or if she does hit you up again, it's usually just to get her back blown out, you know, one more time or twice. And then she keeps it moving. You understand? So understand that that's the dynamic that happens in those situations. Right. So that's that's one thing when you when you make it happen quickly. Just want you guys to understand that. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with that. And also understand you don't actually have to go on a date to make that happen. Now, when we get to the dates, though, let's talk about the dates. Let's talk about the dates. When we get to dating, what dating does 
is that dating sets up a scenario where there's potential for more things to happen. All right, I'm gonna say that again. What dating does is that it sets, it sets up a scenario for potentially more things to occur, right? So if you meet a girl on Tinder, Bumble, whatever it is, you say, yo, uh, come through to meet me at this bar. Y'all meet at the bar, right? Y'all are, you know, flirting, kissing, doing all this other stuff, right? Now, you could actually smash that night, right? And even in that scenario, there's still more potential for shit to go somewhere versus if you just told the chick to come to your crib. You understand? Because just off the fact they went on a date and y'all feeling each other out. You understand what I'm saying? So just in case you meet a girl you like and you're like, man, okay, um, she's cool. I actually like this chick because y'all went on that date that in a lot of cases could solidify shit for a longer situation. Now, again, anything could happen. It's still new, so it doesn't guarantee. But you're more likely to see a chick again if that you went on a date with versus a chick you just hooked up with randomly and that just came straight to your house off of Tinder. Or a chick you just hooked up randomly that you met off a, met at a bar randomly and just fucked her in the bathroom. You understand what I'm saying? So that that is that's uh one of those things. You feel me? So uh hold on, let me get one of these calls for a second. Let's go to uh 412, 412, what's popping? Who this? Hey, what's going on, Mr. Lacar? This is Apollo AT in the chat. AT, what's going on, brother? All right, man. All right, chilling, chilling. Yeah, it's all the uh, topic. You know, want to call in because uh, it, it seems like you know. I know you said before it's like you know mm. the stuff you're talking about speaks to me because of you literally just gone through that within the last month where I had a girl pay for a date mm. and I told her up front while making a date. I'm like, you know, you paying right? Right. Because she mentioned about going out i was like oh okay since you asking you're paying mm-hmm. right 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 and she's like oh it's like that i'm like yeah it's like that mm-hmm. and she agreed to it so mm-hmm. she paid you know for everything facts that's what and i'm talking then, about um, that's what i'm talking about that? i love it right and then it. um i've been on you know four other dates with different women since then and i've spent a grand total of a hundred dollars on all of them you know wow. combined and that was just you know kind of feel them out and uh you know see what uh, see, you know, how they were because it's like you said, you know, meeting offline, you don't know what the person is. So mm-hmm. I figure, hey, just meet somewhere, you know, for some drinks or, you know, appetizers, nothing, nothing much, and, uh, you know, get it going from there. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Now that's what's up. And that's what's up. I love that. Sorry, because it was like a delay. Oh, no, I said that's what's up. I said I, I love, I love hearing that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, yeah, just saying what you were talking about. And, you know, I've had other ones, too, where girls, well, they'll bring up like, oh, we should meet for this and that. And Mm -hmm. now I feel like, okay, well, if you're bringing up meeting, Mm -hmm. then, hey, I say, well, if you're bringing up meeting, then you're paying, right? Right. I mean, some said, there's been a couple that said yes. A lot of them said no. Oh, I expect a man to pay. I'm like, so even though you're asking Mm -hmm. me out. Right. You want me to pay. Facts. I'm like, oh, if that's how you feel, then we don't have to meet. I'm fine with that. Mm Mm-hmm. Nah, see, you're already you're already headed you're already the head of the game, bro. This that's exactly what I was gonna talk about. Is that see, and I talk about that in the program too, where you know the thing is, if a woman likes you, right, she has no problem paying. You understand what I'm saying? Just like you said that that girl, you said, hey, so you paying because you you know you asking me what's what's popping, right? And she's like, cool, and she makes it happen, right? And then you're gonna have other girls who will suggest a certain thing, but then expect you to pay. You understand what I'm saying? After from them suggesting y'all hang out, you see what I mean? Right. And right. and usually what that means is that she's trying to use you for attention, for your money, just to show her a good time. You see what I'm saying? So so it de- it's right. definitely when you're when the when the chick is already showing that initial interest and she's already like edging for the shit to happen. Then hell yeah, be like yo, take me take me to the to the spot you know you want to go to. Let me know what's the spot you want to make happen. And you you treat me to dinner, you treat me to this, you treat me to that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's some real shit, though. And then it was funny because I had a couple girls um, that, you know, hit me up where we were supposed to match up, you know, months ago. Mm. You know, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. So they rematch up with me on the site. Mm. Hit me up like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, I was like, hey, you know, what's going on? I'm like, well, why didn't we meet last time? I'm like, oh, we exchanged numbers, but you didn't want to meet. Mm. And they're like, oh, okay, do over. 
Mm-hmm. So when they say deal over, I'm like, cool. Mm-hmm. Well, then since you didn't meet last time, then dinner and drinks or whatever it is is on you, right? Mm-hmm. And they get indignant like, well, no, it's not like that. Like, mm-hmm. you should be paying. I'm like, hold up. You, you know, you was the one that didn't want to meet up. I suggested meeting up, then you just disappeared or whatever happened. Right. So they're still expecting like for me to pay, even though you kind of wasted my time, I don't think so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And again, that see that 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 also shows her interest level. You see what I'm saying? Because you see, guys, guys, be forgetting, man. The same way where we see certain women and we designate them for certain things, we're like, well, you know, she she's a jump off. She's a chick that I will only have sex with in private, you know, as far as like, I will only see her in private and have sex with her. And that's it. I would never walk down the street with this woman. I don't want nobody to know I'm associated with this chick. You're just like, you're just fuck buddy material. I don't want nobody knowing I'm even fucking with you type shit. You, you have girls like that. You got girls that, you know, you would date, but also smash, but you would never make a girlfriend. You know, it's, it's all those different things. So women are the same way. Women have guys they'll designate to just take them out show them a good time, but they'll never sleep with these guys. They'll, they'll never really make anything happen with these dudes as far as any relationship is concerned, but guys don't understand this. So this is why stuff like that, like you said, she hitting you back up and you're like, all right, cool. Well, you hit me back up. We are supposed to make something happen. So cool. How about we flip it and do this and you foot the bill and make this happen and then see what's popping with that. Because I'm like, you reaching out to me now after you done did the bullshit from last time. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I agree with that shit all day. Right. Yeah. I think you had mentioned that before where like if a girl, you know, reaches back out to you and they was on some BS or whatnot, mm-hmm. uh, either, you know, suggest they pay or you say, or if you want to hook up with them, hook up with them one time and mm-hmm. then that's it. Right. Cause they was on the BS the first time. Exactly. Exactly. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? So see, you're, you're already, you already right. got the game. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, and I, right. I want to, I, I like to tell guys like, yo, y'all got to understand that if the girl is feeling you, She's not going to have no problem with this. This is what you have to understand. See, when women like you, they they want they want to figure out what way they what what they can do to make the shit work. So sometimes what happens is this. Let's say a girl, um, you know, like in your situation, y'all were supposed to get together, and for whatever reason, y'all didn't, and now she's coming back. A lot of times, initially, she didn't get together with you because either. She was fucking with some other dude and tangled with some other nonsense or her interest wasn't as high as the, at that point. And now she's like, damn, what, what happened to that guy? Let me see what's popping with him. And now she's getting more and more interested as time as time went on. You feel what I'm saying? Either way, though, she has to she has to show that she actually wants to take shit to a ne- to the next step. And so by you putting that thing in there where she has to invest more, especially because she fucked up before. You know what I'm saying? That's going to show if she's really about making something happen or she's just using you just to like sort of pass the time. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And and the last thing I wanted to ask real quick was like, like the last couple of dates I went on with, with ladies, it was actually they reached out to me on on the site because I have, mm. you know, just looking for casual. Mm. And they were saying like, oh, you know, I think you're handsome or I like your pictures, but I'm not looking for casual, though. So mm. I took that as. Well, if you're initially sending me a message about casual, there must be some interest. So, mm. you know, I would message them back, you know, just saying like, oh, that's too bad. We could be a match and mm. go back and forth, but then exchange numbers. And then it's funny because as soon as I'd be like, oh, here's my number, they'll hit me up. Mm. And then, you know, go from that. I usually like to call ladies mm. instead of just texting a date because I'm like, I like to get them on the phone. Mm. And it feels like it makes a difference because a lot of ladies talk about guys don't call. They just mainly text. Mm. So I feel like that puts me... Uh, you know, one step up and then set the date and they're eager to go, even though they know looking for casual and they mention it. And mm-hmm. even on the date, they've said it like, well, I'm not the hookup type, but I'm like, but yet you're here. Exactly. Exactly. And right. then, right. And then end up the next day. And I remember you talked about with a few guys, when guys have said, they'll talk to a girl about, Oh, you know, they leave it up to them. What do they want to do or ask them what they want to do or say, let's go out for food. Mm-hmm. I say the second day after we met for food or drinks the first time, it's like, Hey, why don't you come to my crib? Mm-hmm. And they've had, there's been no objection. Oh, sure. I can do that. They, they come over a hookup. Mm-hmm. So is it, are they just trying to display that? Well, if I give into sex right away mm-hmm. or say that I'm interested in casual, you'll only look at me that way. But if I went on a first date, I feel like I got to know him. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's the thing. See, 
what, what what's funny about what's funny about this whole these whole types of situations is that <laughs> this shit is so funny. Sometimes women just need to feel like something's happening, even though it's not really happening. You understand what I'm saying? They, what I mean is when a chick is like, oh, I got to get to know you. She just needs to feel like she's getting to know you. It doesn't necessarily need to actually be happening in real life, in real time that she's getting to know you. You understand what I'm saying? So, for example, you could a, a chick could say, yo, because uh, this is what girls do a lot. They'd be like, hey, can we can we have a phone call before we meet up? Right. And so you could be like, cool, here's my number. Uh, call me at this time at three o'clock or whatever it is. Right. So she calls you. And y'all could literally be on the phone for like three minutes, two minutes. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the call, you'd be like, yeah, so listen, let's meet up, you know, tomorrow and get some drinks, blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay, cool. So now she felt like she got to know you, but y'all only was speaking for two minutes. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But she, she, she needs the, see, women need justification. You understand what I'm saying? To do shit sometimes. You understand? So that when things turn out a certain way, right, they can justify it in their minds so that they don't feel bad about themselves. Because if she meets you, right? Because like, for example, you said, look, I'm tr- I'm just on some casual shit, right? She's like, oh, but I don't want the casual shit. You know, that's what she's saying in her, in her mind, right? So now she's like, well, let me get on the phone with AT and let me talk to him for a little bit. So now she talks to you for two minutes and now she feels like she's getting to know you. Y'all go on that date or y'all get that drink and now she's feeling like she got to know you a little bit more. So now when it when she's all horny and, 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 and fucking ready to make shit happen on that first date, and it and it happens, she doesn't feel like it was casual. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she can justify right, in her okay. mind, well, yeah, I fucked this guy on the first date, but we got to get to know each other. We spoke on the phone. We talked over drinks. I think you understand what I'm saying? They need to feel like it's this is how it happened sometimes, so that they can feel like they didn't just fuck you on the first date. You understand what I'm saying? It's 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 the craziest shit. You know what I mean? So, so that's the thing with, with with women sometimes is that they they don't want to admit to themselves what the fuck they're doing because they have a thing in their mind of a way they want it to go. But the problem is, is that nature takes over, and then they want to make something happen with an alpha dude. They want to make something happen with a guy that they're sexually attracted to. So they'll say one thing. This is why chicks on their fucking dating app uh, site, uh, the dating app profiles say no hookups. All the, 90% of them, no hookups, no hookups, no hookups. Right, and, and 90% right. of these girls hooking up. You see what I'm saying? So it's the, the, the goofiest shit. You see what I mean? Right, right. And then for me, only looking for casual, mm. I'd like to at least go on one date now because I want to get a feel for the person. Like before, you know, it might be just, oh, try to get them to the crib. But now I'm more on some, you know, I want to get a feel for, are they crazy? Mm. Are they having issues or whatnot? Exactly. So, I mean, do you recommend that? Or do you feel like if you're just casual, you should try to just get them to the crib, you know, ASAP? No, this is the thing. You can get a girl to the crib. But I, what I suggest, and this is what I, I talked about in uh, one of in the my program on Patreon that I talk about how to get laid without going on dates is you got to do some FaceTime. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And okay. so, and so if you're on FaceTime with a chick, you know, for like, you know, 10, 15 minutes or whatever, or something like that, even 10 minutes, you know, talking to her, feeling around a little bit, that's basically the, it's almost the equivalent of like being in person on a date. You understand what I'm saying? Because, right, right. because you can, if you're able to, you're able to feel the vibe out a little bit. And it's never going to be a hundred percent, but you're able to feel the vibe of the girl face to face. You're looking at her, her mannerisms. You're looking at the way she's talking, the way she's, you know, looking at you through the screen and all this other stuff. So you can sort of feel out the situation. So at that point you can say, yeah, you know, come through, come through to the spot. You understand what I'm saying? Or you could say, Hey, you know, if you don't want her to come to your crib, be like, listen, I know a spot we could go to. You feel what I'm saying? Take her to a hotel. You understand what I'm saying? And, and make that happen. Or you could say, hey, let's meet out for drinks real quick and then go back to my spot or go to a hotel. What, any way you want to do it. But I always feel like you should have that initial back and forth with the woman to sort of see and feel her out. You understand? And also, too, the reason, and the reason why I say that, too, is that, you know, you want to also do that to see the 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 sort of like her character and if she's quality. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because let's say you're talking to a girl and you FaceTiming her and you're FaceTiming. And this, this is what I suggest you guys do. If you're FaceTiming a girl, right? 
and she is she's uh uh you know let's say for example y'all y'all going back and forth you should say to her hey you know that that looks like an interesting place you got you know like like show me around your place that uh, looks right, cool. you show you around the right. okay you see what i'm saying and the reason why i say that is because one and some of them might be hesitant because maybe they they place is messy or some shit but in general what will happen is is that if you can see sort of how the chick is living that can tell you a lot about the quality of that woman. So if she got a, a decent looking apartment or, you know what I'm saying? And it looks, it looks decent. And then you say, Hey, what do you do for a living? And she's like, Oh, I'm a, you know, I'm a nurse or I, I, you know, I work at this law firm or whatever. So, okay. She's, she's, she works at this law firm. She got a nice apartment. That means that she has something to lose. You understand what I'm saying? And so those are the women you want to deal with the women who have something to lose, because if you're dealing with some ratchet chick, who live in a fucking rat hole and she ain't got shit to lose. You understand what I'm saying? That's not the type of chick you want to be fucking with because she ain't got nothing to lose. But if you're dealing with a chick who has something to lose, who got her shit together, then it's, it's less likely you're going to be dealing with a chick who's going to bring a bunch of bullshit. Now, again, it's never hundred percent, but it's less likely. You see what I'm saying? And so with those things you see, you're able to pinpoint when you're interacting with the chick in that manner to see those, those different things. You see what I'm saying? Right, that's true. Because you know, before Facetime, where I met some for just casual and went to their place for the first time, it was a disaster zone. That's but I didn't know that before I got there. Right, you know, and it was just like, oh my god, this is how you live. No, mm -hmm. I'm good. Right, right. Now I've been there too, bro. I, listen, man, it is it, it, the more the more you start dating these chicks, you understand what I'm saying? The more you start seeing certain things, you be like, okay, I gotta I gotta look out for this next time because I don't want to be in this situation again. You understand? And and the thing is. You're able to assess certain red flags when you're even on the FaceTime to see, you, you understand what I'm saying? How this chick vibes. Cause this chicks that I've talked to on FaceTime and they're just boring as fuck. Like they can't even, they, they don't even know how to have a conversation. And I'm like, this chick is boring as shit. She's mad awkward. You understand what I'm saying? Like she looked like, and, and it's like, you could sometimes see a chick has issues and problems you understand based off of how she's uh responding to you you understand what i'm saying meaning like a normal chick usually especially it's the first time y'all talking usually she'll have you know a smile on her face be a little bit upbeat you feel what i'm saying uh be a little bit uh uh you know she'll, she'll have a friendly tone you understand it'll be flirtatious right now if you're dealing with a chick and she got issues like i remember this one chick i facetimed her and we got on the shit and this, this is how she was talking to me. I was like, Hey, I was like, Hey, what's going on? How you doing? She's like, I'm good. You know, chilling. How you doing? I'm like, what the fuck? Why she seemed like she's so down. You know what I'm saying? It's like her whole tone was like that. You feel what I mean? And then it was like these, like, like she was like fucking doing these awkward ass pauses and looking over to the left and shit. And I'm like, what the, what is this chick doing? I was like, listen, I was like, look, I got to go. I got to do some shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you, I was like, I'm not fucking with this girl. You understand? Because I could, I could see already she's on some bullshit. I see already she got issues. So I was like, I'm good. You feel what I mean? So you definitely want to sort of feel that out. You understand what I'm saying? And, and make that shit crack. You understand? Right, right. That I mean, but that's why also I still like the dates because it's places I like to go. So mm -hmm. like they might have good drinks there, good appetizers. Right. So that's why I usually sit out there because it's somewhere I want to go to. Right, right. Real, real talk. And there's nothing, there's nothing uh, like meeting the chick in person. You feel what I'm saying? In those environments to really get a feel for her even before she comes to your crib because in this, because sometimes even with the with the uh, FaceTime. Women see it's still on video, so it's still not in person. So right. chicks will know how to they'll 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 know how to make themselves look the best in their best light. This is why you got to tell them, hey, you know, show me around the house. Like, let me, you know, walk around a little bit so you could kind of see the body, see see the whole, you know what I mean? So that type of shit because chicks they'll do a certain camera angle to make themselves look better than they had to really look, and you know what I'm saying? So they could do all that shit. Versus if you meet them in person, you understand? You could see everything. And she can't really hide none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Right, right, right.
You feel well, me? Well, definitely, you know, as always, I appreciate the information. And I know the one thing I know you talked about before is especially doing the casual thing. Mm. I've gotten so many things revealed to me that I can't believe one women told me. Mm. But also, I think you said it in the video, because I come off as non-judgmental mm. and just cool and laid back, they're able to reveal a bunch of things that... And they've even admitted, I'm like, would you tell a guy this, that you were looking for husband or boyfriend? Too? Oh, heck no, I'd never say that. Mm. So I, I appreciate one, learning that from you, like to, you know, be non not that I really was, but to have that attitude and, and air about you. Mm. Because, man, some of the things I learned, I'm like, thank God, you know, I was able to find this out you know, right. prior to, even if I wasn't going to wipe them up still. Mm hmm. Facts. Facts. Not real talk. And that's that's what it is. That's that's what the game is about, man. Just you got to. You got it's like you figuring all this shit out. You understand what I'm saying? And and that's gonna make you make better decisions in the long run. You feel what I mean? So that's what it is, man. Right, right. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I appreciate the information as always, man. All right, bro. Appreciate you, man. I'm holla. All right. All right. Peace, peace, peace. All right. So, yeah, guys, make sure you guys go on patreon.com to get the program, you know, how to get women to pay for dates. That is the program right there. You feel what I'm saying? Go to uh, patreon.com. That's the Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. Lucario. That is the Patreon right there for you guys to get that shit cracking. So let me see what Ultra Gold Chain says. Should you charge a woman you've been seeing if she doesn't want to invest anymore, like expects me to pay for everything? Well, this is the thing. This is the thing. Usually what happens is this, is I, I always say go on the first date and then after the first date, it should basically be y'all hooking up. You understand what I'm saying? For a while, like she coming over your house, you're coming over her house. So this shouldn't really be any more dates after that until you've been hooking up with her consistently where she proves that she's worth dating. You understand what I'm saying? Right now in this program, I, I tell you certain objections chicks are going to have and certain things chicks will do where you could go on another date with them, but they're going to have to pay. You understand what I'm saying? But they're going to have to pay. You see what I mean? So you shouldn't be investing and doing all this other extra shit and go like you shouldn't be going on two, three, four, five, six dates. Like that should not be happening at all. You understand what I'm saying? One date and then we fucking. You understand what I'm saying? And that one date is to fill her out to see if you want to be fucking her. You understand what I'm saying? Because even if you do a FaceTime and you tell a girl to come straight to your crib, that's almost the equivalent of that one date. You understand? Kingly, you said, can you download the Patreon program once you get go on it? Um, I don't think so. I'm not, I don't think Patreon allows you to do that. I mean, you, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if you can, then you could, but I don't, I don't know if they, if they allow you to do that, you feel what I'm saying? But if they allow you to do it, then fuck it, download it. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, it's on the Patreon and I'm telling you, you guys need to get up on that Patreon. Uh, we got the bad boy show on there every week. We drop it on Wednesdays. Now you feel what I'm saying? Patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. Also make sure you guys get on that bad boy membership. I'm telling you, you want to get up on that shit. Crazy. You feel me? Um, so Rodney said, can, uh, can you get a woman to pay for a date? If you're the one that suggested the date? Yes, you can. And I, and I, and I talk about that a lot in the program. You feel what I'm saying? I talk about how to do that in the program. You feel what I'm saying? Because see, you got to understand women, they're going to expect you to pay because you're the one asking them on a date. But the funny part about that is, is that who asks who on a date? It's always the man. 99% of the time asking a woman out on a date. You see what I'm saying? So that's the, that's the crazy part about it. You see what I mean? But see, the thing is, is that the benefits of getting a woman to pay for a date, right? Is that, you know, one, it has her invest. And the more a person invests, the harder it is to walk away from the investment. Now, it's not impossible to walk away from the investment, but the harder it is to walk away from the investment. You understand what I'm saying? And if a woman is investing in you, right, it's going to be harder to walk away from for, for her to walk away from you unless you just on some stupid ass shit. See, the reason why it's easy for women to go on dates and just call it a day and just be on some, uh, you know, whatever type shit is because they don't really invest. Like the more, the most they do is 
they take time to get dressed and look pretty and they come to the date, but they're not usually not paying for anything, especially on the first date, usually. Right. So it's easy to walk away from that because they're not paying for nothing. Right. But if they had to pay, it'd be hard for them to walk away because if they were investing more then they wouldn't walk away. You see what I'm saying? Unless the guy is just totally on some BS. You see what I'm saying? But see, it's easy for women to walk away because they're not investing. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that if you're able to get a woman to invest, it'll be not impossible for her to walk away. Not that she can't walk away, but it's, she's going to think twice because for once she's, once she's thinking, damn, why am I going to pay for this? Should I be paying for this? What does this mean if I'm paying for this? And if she really likes the guy, she's going to put down that paper. You understand what I'm saying? So she already likes you in the, in the initial sense. She's putting down the paper and that's also investment. But there is also exceptions to the rule because sometimes what will happen is, and I talked about this in a program, is that sometimes a woman might pay for your date because she don't like you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You understand? Sometimes women will pay for the date because they don't want to see you again. You understand? And A, you said, uh, if I pay, it's easier for me to walk away because I feel we both got something and it's a squash. I got attention and he got a meal. That's all. Exactly. See, I just said that. Like, <laughs> chicks, if they're not really feeling you, they will, you know, uh, they might they might pay for the date. Now, there are times where they'll pay and they're feeling you. See, there's times where you might meet a girl at a bar, right? This happened to me a bunch of times. I'm at the bar. I'm talking to a random girl and then she'll offer me a drink, right? She'll offer me, hey, do you want it? You want it? What are you drinking? I'll get you something. That's interest. You understand what I'm saying? That means she's fucking with you. That means she wanted, she, that means she's about it. Ain't no woman buying you no drinks if she ain't if she don't want the D. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It ain't happening. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't happening. You said, what if a woman says you've been the woman I mean you've been seeing you you always just want to have sex? Well, hey, that ain't nothing wrong with that. Be like, yeah, I just want to have sex. So what? Because if she says you always just want to have sex, what does that mean? That means you're having sex. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Now, if she says that and you're not having sex, then you fucking up because that means that she's getting all this attention and you ain't getting shit. But if a chick is like, oh, you always want to have sex, that, you know, usually that means because y'all y'all always fucking. But if you've been hanging out with a girl three, four, five, seven, eight, nine times and she says that, but y'all ain't fucked. That means that she's trying to shame you for wanting to fuck and she's been using you all this time for your attention. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you said, do you think it's a good idea to go Dutch on a first date? Yes, I do. And I, t I talk about that in the program, basically. How to go Dutch. You understand? I teach you all how, how to do all that stuff. Bryce, you said, how does one come off as non-judgmental? What do you mean? What do you mean? In, in what sense? In what sense? Mike, De Mike DeColi, she said, they're trying to bait you into giving the gems. I know. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I know. I was like, yo, I'm telling you, listen, the game is to be sold. People It's to be sold. I'm trying really hard. Listen, let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. I remember, I don't know if Steve or Steve remembers this, but back in the day, uh, when I first, first, uh, talked to Steve, the Dean is when I was first on YouTube. And I remember Steve hit me up and he said, bruh, he was like, you giving away too much. You understand what I'm saying? He's like, you giving away too much. And that's that's the hardest shit for me. I'll be just wanting to let it all out. But I, I'm like, yo, y'all gotta, you know what I'm saying? The game costs. You gotta, you understand? You gotta support the game. You understand? Because I, I gotta make this money so I could go overseas and get me a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so I could get so I could start tricking on these hoes in Brazil and Dominican Republic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to get my passport. Y'all got to help me with this tricking, guys. You feel me? Man. Shout out to Afi Kingdom in the building. What's going on? 
He says, stop offering dates before they show you interest. Facts. Ronnie said, what's Dutch? Dutch means that y'all, y'all are both paying, you know, y'all both putting them some money. Y'all splitting the bill. And Jay said, I'm probably wrong, but I interpret a man asking me to pay means he doesn't like me that uh, like that. He's not interested in impressing me. Well, yeah, that's the thing. A lot of women think that that is true. That is actually true. And I actually talked about that in a program where uh, sometimes when you don't, when you um, when you uh, want the woman to pay, you tell her to pay. They, they'll think you don't like them. And this is why I showed you how to do it, because this this is I'll, I'll say this. This is one of the main things that. um, uh. And AT touched on this too, you know, if you're paying attention to the game. When you get a girl to pay for dates, right? What needs to happen is the situation has to be set up for where when she's paying, it makes perfect sense. You understand what I'm saying? Where it makes perfect sense as to why she would be paying. You understand? So, and again, like I said, if the chick likes you, she's going to make it happen. And see, this is, this is, I'll tell you guys this, and let me get, we'll get to this call in a second. We'll get to six, four, six. I'm gonna get to you in a second. I want to say this real quick. Um, you have to understand that if you're, uh, if you're a guy that women consider a sexy alpha male type of motherfucker, you understand you're the guy that women get wet for you feel me the other guy that women want to jump on you and ride that dick you feel me understand that if they're really feeling you like that they're trying to get to the to the point where that can happen you understand what i'm saying so you if it, so if you're in a situation where you're telling her to do certain things. So let's say you, 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 you create a situation where y'all are going Dutch and then you say certain things to create that situation and, and get the program if you want me to show you how to do that. But you create that situation where, you, where she's going to pay half, you're going to pay half or whatever it is. She has no problem doing that because she's so interested in you. You understand? So basically whatever you want her to do within reason, she's going to do it. This is what you guys have to understand. When a woman is that sexually attracted to you, whatever you want her to do within reason, I'm not telling you to go tell a chick to go shoot up a school or something. You know what I'm saying? Within reason, whatever you tell her to do, she's going to follow. Because I, I try to tell you guys all, this all the time. It's about fear and desire or fear and love. However you want to say it. You want to, I'm oh, see when I deal with women, I'm always testing how much they desire me from the jump, from the jump. I'm always testing how much they desire me and everything that they do is going to either tell me they desire me like they're, they're really feeling me or they kind of feeling me or they're not really feeling me. You feel me? You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that if I match with a girl on Tinder and I say, Hey, What's up? Meet me at this bar on Friday. We should get together and get drinks. And she says, okay, cool. Sounds good. You know, what time? I'm like, yeah, seven o'clock. And she's like, cool. And then we meet up seven o'clock and we get there and we make it happen. Right now, her action shows me she's really feeling me. You understand? Now, let's say I do the same exact thing with another girl. I match with another girl. I say, hey, uh, let's get together, you know, this day, get a drink. Right. And then, it, then she says to me, hey, can we speak on the phone first? Guess what? That means that she doesn't really desire me because if she really desired me, she wouldn't need to speak to me on the phone. She just fucking come to the date. You understand what I'm saying? You see what I mean? So let's say another chick. I say, Hey, meet me at this bar and blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, Oh, um, can we talk on here more? Right. That's showing that she's not really feeling me. Cause if she was really feeling me, she wouldn't need to talk more. She would just meet me at the bar. See, you know, the, the number one thing I've heard from women that meet me on dates. And I, 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 I laugh every single time they say this, every single time they say this, I laugh. 
And they're like, what are you laughing about? And it's just, it's just a, a inside joke for me. I, I laugh every time I say, every time they say this, most of the women that I meet on these dating sites, they say the same shit. They say, you know, it's weird that I just met you like this because usually I, 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 I tell guys that I want to speak to them on the phone first. Or I usually tell guys that we should talk more before we meet up. But for some reason, I just came to meet you. Every time, I, every time they say shit like that, I laugh. I laugh. And I'm laughing because the reason why they came to meet me without having to speak to me on a phone or go through a bunch of bullshit is because they were really feeling me. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they were not really feeling me, they would have did the same shit they did with the other niggas. They would have been like, let's talk on the phone first. Let's do this first. Let's, let's speak here more. Let me get to know you more. That's what they do when they're not really feeling you. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they do. And see, what you have to understand is, is that when a chick meets a guy that she's really feeling, she does not know if she's going to have another chance with him. So she has to jump on the opportunity, right? So if she says to this guy who she's really feeling, which she wouldn't because she's feeling him, but let's say she says, hey, can we talk on here more? Or, hey, I, you know, I, and I've heard women use this, this, this word. I, I fucking hate when women use this word. It fucking gets my dick so soft when women say this. A woman, when a woman says, I require a phone call, I require that a man talk to me. I, when she says, I require, oh, I'm like, does this chick know who she's talking to? You require? I don't give a fuck about what you require. Like, I mean, listen, I'm just like, I'm just like, she don't even know how much like she's done this time. I'm like, okay, we're done. I just unmatch her require. I don't give a fuck about what you require. I'm like, how did like, like I'm insulted. You understand what I'm saying? I'm insulted because I'm like, listen, I'm like, do you not recognize? I'm like, are you insane? I'm like, this shit got to be stupid or goofy or something because you require? No. Listen, listen, we're done. Because basically what she's saying is, is that I'm not feeling you like that. So I require you to do all these things I want you to do so that I can make a decision whether or not I'm going to come see you. No, I don't give a fuck about what you require. Listen, when you meet a woman or you're talking to a woman, what you should be looking for is this woman should be all about it. She should be all in. Listen, let me tell you guys something. And in 646, I'm going to get to you right after this in, in two minutes. There was a woman and this happened, you know, a few times, but, you know, I'm going to just, you know, talk about one of the times that happened, but it's happened a, a couple of times or a few times, whatever. There was a woman I said to her, uh, meet me, meet me at this place. Right. And she was like, oh, um, you know, can you, can you, uh, can we meet later? Because I'm supposed to meet up with my friend and blah, 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 blah. blah. I said, no, 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 no. Listen, I said, Meet me here at this time. Now, if you could do it, cool. If you can't, then good luck, right? So then she says, no, 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 it's all right. I, I can meet you. So then I said, cool, I'm going to be here at, at six o'clock. Meet me there at six. Right now, it's going on 545, right? So she texts me. She's like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm running late. Um, I'm sorry. I said, no problem. Just, you know, text me when you're, you're near. So she texts me at like 610. And she's like, I'm, I'm here. I'm outside. So I said, come in. I'm already sitting down. Right. So she says, I'm in where you're at. I'm like, no, you're not. in. I don't see you. So this chick was at the wrong place, which was probably, I think, like maybe 20 minutes away in, in a cab. Right. So then she's like, oh, my God, I think I got the wrong place. I'm so sorry. I said, well. I'm here. This is the right address. Bring your ass over here. Like, come through. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, but is it okay if you meet me here? I said, no, 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 no. I said, listen, I'm here and I will be here until this time. 
Because I'm, I'm sitting there eating my wings and shit, chilling. I said, I'm going to be here until this time. So if you want to see me, you can come see me. If not, then good luck. So she, so I didn't hear from her for like 10 minutes. So I'm thinking she ain't going to come, right? I'm like, whatever, she ain't going to come. So I'm eating my, my food. I'm like, you know, I'm going to eat my food, chill here, whatever. This chick gets there 20 minutes before I'm about to leave, right? So she texts me like five minutes. So she's like, oh, hey, I'm going to be there in like five minutes. So I'm like, okay, I didn't even know she was still coming. So she took the cab 20 minutes to come see me for 20 or 15 minutes. You understand? So we had like a 15 minute date. You understand? And then I'll bounce. Now, I say that to say this. This woman flaked on her friends, took a cab to the wrong place, then took another cab to the right place to hang out with me for 15 minutes. You understand what I'm saying? So how in the fuck am I going to sit there and talk to another girl on a dating site talking about I require this and can, can, can we talk mo- like f- for what? For what? You understand what I'm saying? Like I'm accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Why would I fuck with the bullshit? You see what I'm saying? Why would you fuck with the bullshit? And see, guys fuck with the bullshit because they're not used to having chicks who actually are going to make something happen. Like this chick spent damn near probably like, you know, 80 bucks on cab rides just to come see me for 15 minutes. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but let's go to 646 real quick. 646 was popping. Who this? Hey, what's up, Shy from um, Brooklyn? What up, my brother? Did you donate? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What's going on with you? What's going on with you? So, question. Um, I know that you usually say um, after the first date, you know, try to get it popping. Mm -hmm. Um, It shouldn't take more than one or two dates. Mm -hmm. So, I just need your opinion. I went on a date and I thought it went okay. It was at the park. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know if I should go on a second date. Because I don't think that maybe I didn't do my part correctly, but I didn't feel that spark. You know, it was cool, but I didn't feel that that spark. You know, wait, and wait, you know, wait, I, wait, I, wait, I, wait. it was a few red flags too on my that I noticed from her. Mm-hmm. So wait, what, what, what? I'm what? just asking. Should I set up the second date? What, what, what spark are you talking about? What do you mean you to feel a spark? When I say the spark, I just mean like you know, if you kind of trying to spit game kind of zone where okay i like you in that way you know i want to you know take it there sexually it didn't i don't feel like it was at that the height that it should be in terms of the sexual um you know conversation or the sexual energy mm. so <laughs> so, you, so you were flirting with her and she wasn't she mm-hmm. wasn't like trying to make that happen she wasn't like reciprocating any interest um yeah, in in a, in a way, a little bit. Um, because he was talking about, uh, you know, like you know her her, her background and mm. where she's from, and you know mm. her interests, what she like, what I like, stuff mm. like that. Mm. But um, you know, I put my arms around her, you know, a few times. Right. But um, there was a few red flags. For example, she was like, "Oh, let's get some coffee." Then I was like, "You know, I'm good. You know, I don't I don't need any coffee." Uh, and I was like. Well, why would I get coffee when I make the best coffee? Then she was like, oh, I'm not going to your house. And in my head, I'm like, I didn't invite you to my house. Right. But she kind of took that as like, I'm trying to insinuate, Mm. you know, that we going to go back to my place and make the coffee. Mm. So I kind of felt like things like that is like she kind of, I don't know, maybe she wasn't feeling it, but she texted me later on that day and said she had a good time mm-hmm. but it could be that it's true but it could be that she's just has an intention so did y'all kiss so, y'all was kissing we didn't kiss oh, we did not man. kiss why didn't y'all kiss did you did you try to go for a kiss i don't know I, personally 
I wasn't feeling it that much, so I, I didn't want to, you know, I, I personally wasn't feeling it that much, so I didn't really go for the kiss, to be honest with you. So then, so then if you're not feeling it, why you want a second date? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why you want to go out with her again? I, per, I, right, so I personally would be like, no, but she texts me after. Mm. So it seemed like, you know, and, you know, she sent me a chat, like, hey, I had a good time, you know, so... That's but, the but only what, reason what, why I'm bringing it up. So, so basically, you saying you want to hang out with her again because because you think that she's interested and that it'll be easier to make something happen with her versus just charging her to the game and starting over with some other chick. Well, I mean, I don't care. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to a few people, but mm. you know, if she wants to get it popping, you know, as it seems like she enjoyed the date. I don't know how, but. But see that, but see that's it. But see this, and I don't mind. But see this is the thing, though. This is the thing. This is the thing. See, this is why I I tell you guys: you have to, have to, have to, have to, right? Get sexual, Mm. build sexual tension on the first date. Mm. And the reason why I'm saying this is Mm. because, okay, let's say for example, you hit you, you know, she hit you up, and then you say to her, "Oh, hey, let's hang out again," and then you hang out with her again, and then you try to kiss her, and she move her face. Right. Mm-hmm. Or she say, oh, I don't want to do that right. right now. So now that mm-hmm. means you pretend you wasted a whole fucking date or a night or an evening or whatever with this chick when you could have found that out on the first time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Because right, right. because again, like I said, women will use you for different things. She could be. How do you know she's not using you for attention? You see what I'm saying? How does she not? How do you know she's not using you just to take her out and, and give her time and energy and all that other shit. You you have no idea because you you didn't in you know uh build any sexual tension in the situation. You see what I'm saying? So so what right. I, what I would say to you is right, I would say right. this. I would say to I would say to you tell her to come through to your spot, right? Well, let me ask you this. Do you want to smash? Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, why not? You're on some whatever type. So, so this is the chick. You're just on some. I'll I'll just, you like, you like. Yeah. I'll just fuck her, just to fuck her. That's that's where you at right now, right? <laughs> yeah, she reached out to me, so you know, yeah. I mean, if she wanna, yeah. All right, so then just tell her that. Be like, listen, um, I'm glad you had a good time, and what I want to do is I want you to come over to the spot. Uh, you know, we're gonna have some 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 uh, some drinks, and then I'm gonna get you naked, and then we're gonna do some things. So tell her. <laughs> that. Tell her that. Tell her that straight up. You understand? However you want to say it, you know, you can say, I want to fuck the shout you. I want to get you naked. I want to, you know, I want to hook up, whatever, but let her know you're trying to have some sex. Right. And then let her respond to that and let you know she's trying to do that. Because if she's, if she says anything else, but, oh no, I, you know, nah, just charge it to the game. You see what I'm saying? Because she already, she already from the first date. Cause see what happened was you got thrown off. By her saying, "Oh, I'm not going to your house." That, did that throw you off? It kind of did. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think what happened is that threw you off, and then that made you sort of fall back, which caused you to not try to build any sexual tension. You see what I'm saying? And now the thing is, right, the right, fact right. the fact that she said that though, again, that is a sign that she has that medium interest because a chick who's a hundred percent about it, she would have never said no shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? So again, this is what I was talking about earlier. Right. She's already shown a sign that she's not really down like that. Because a chick who a chick who's that sexually attracted to you, if you tell her, if you tell her, hey, you know, this coffee in my place, and immediately she's like, I'm not going to your house. You understand what I'm saying? That that's on some BS. Right. Because if she really wanted to go to your crib. She wouldn't have said nothing like that. She would have probably been like, oh, yeah, like, what type of coffee do you make? You should invite me sometime. It should have been like open like that. Now, there are times where a chick um, and this is rare where she says shit like that because she's trying to reinforce it to herself because she might want to fuck you. So she's like, yeah, I don't want to fuck this guy on the first date. So she's immediately trying to nip that in the bud by saying that. But most of the time, if they're really about it, mm-hmm. shit, they ain't going to say nothing, no shit like that. They're going to go with the flow of the situation. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times when a chick want to fuck you, she's thinking about it more than you probably thinking about it. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? She's thinking about, okay, how do I get this guy back to my house? See, that's what she's thinking about. You see what I'm saying? So it's that type of shit. Right, right. 
You feel what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Facts. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, bro. Just hit her. I say, yo, hit her back up and tell her, like, yo, listen, uh, I had a good time too. You know, I want you to come through to the crib and let's get this cracking. And and the thing is, you know, all right, wait, are you on a bad boy membership? Man, I, I, the funny thing is, I've been on a bad boy membership for like freaking four months and I didn't even know it. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, get, no, I'm, get no, your listen, ass I was there. on it for like, I'm, no, I'm dead serious. I, I signed up in December, right? Uh, and then, you know, I think I was I was trying to pause it because I was just trying to save up some money. Mm. Then I forgot to pause it. Then I'm like, oh shit, $97. Bruh. Three months. I'm like, Bruh. oh crap, I didn't even know. Bruh, get your but ass yeah, on I'm there. On, I'm on the bad boy membership. Yeah. Get your ass I'm on, on the there and listen to, the, listen to the last program <laughs> that we have on there. Because I'm going to tell you, listen to the last. This is, I'm going to put the, the thing on the screen real quick. So this is the last program we got on there, the How to Increase a Women's Attraction to You. Listen to that because that's going to tell you how to increase? This is the time where you gotta. This 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 the type of chick you gotta increase her attraction if you want to fuck with her. Because right now she's showing signs that she's one of these medium interest girls. You understand what I'm saying? Facts, so so facts. listen, listen to that if you want to fuck with her. But I, again, like I said, hit her up, tell her to come through to the crib. And now in that program, I tell I teach you what to do if she if she uh rejects that offer so like let's say you hit her you hit her up and you say hey come to the crib and she says oh you know i don't know i don't i don't feel comfortable with that i tell you how to respond to that you see what i'm saying so listen to that program gotcha. and and do exactly what i say in that program that's what i'm saying you understand all right facts all right all right, right brother. i'm gonna do that all right man so yeah listen to that and make that shit happen all right all right thanks all right man peace be safe all right you man, I'm, I'm I'm telling you guys, y'all gotta understand, man. These chicks, don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. If they like you, listen. If women like you, nigga, it's like, like I'm telling you, watch Coming to America, the first one. You understand? And the first chick they was trying to hook Eddie Murphy up. He said, "What type of music do you like?" She's like, "Whatever you like." What type of food do you like to eat? Whatever food you like to eat. That's how women act when they like you. When they're really about you, it's whatever you want to do. It's whatever you want to do. Women only give resistance to niggas that they not really feeling like that. And when I say they're not really feeling like that, that like that, I'm saying they're not 100% down. When a woman is 100% down, you, listen, She'll, she's going to make shit happen. When you hear women talk about dudes and when you hear women talk about, oh, oh, I don't do this and I don't do that. They're talking about all the niggas that they're not really feeling. They're talking about the guys they're not hundred percent into when a woman is hundred percent into, she will do anything for you. You understand what I'm saying? They'll do shit. They shouldn't even be doing. Like I told you, listen, I, I knew this chick who she, 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 uh, she was dating this dude who she found out was a drug dealer. And she told me she went with this nigga to, like he had to drop off some product. And she said she went with this nigga to do. And I'm like, are you serious? Now, I don't know if she was lying or not, but that's crazy. Like, I'm like, you see. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. But let's go to this next call real quick. Uh. Seven seven three, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, Gario, what's going on, brother? Hope all is well, bro. Oh shit, is this seventy plus? Oh uh, no, 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 it's Kelly Moore, bro. Oh, Kelly Moore, you sound like seventy plus, dude. What's going on with you, bro? What's good with you, man? Oh shit, well, well he must got his damn good voice in. If you sound <laughs> like me, uh, everything's all good, Ricardo. I, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and be fast, Ricardo, because my ass will start football practicing like in like uh six minutes, but mm -hmm. uh. A crazy coincidence just happened to me, Lucario. Crazy right. ass coincidence. I just think this shit will happen to me. And like, cause you know, uh, hello. Yeah, I can hear you good. Uh, okay, okay. So like, uh, you know, when I was on the band one membership and I read the book Adam Sex One and Two Day, I read it multiple times, mm -hmm. right? And like, uh, especially on the part when he says, uh, "Proceed with caution," you know, fucking with women at work. Ideally, you don't fuck with women at work, right? You know, uh, my job, you know. Me, my job, me promoting uh, in downtown Chicago with these, you know, and bartending at like these club scenes and shit, mm. though. 
my uh, my job, they moved me to a, a new location. Mm. So it's temporary, though. They moved me to a different location. It's just temporarily. Right. By coincidence, I found out I found out one of my new bosses is a bitch I charged to the game. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm in a <laughs> in a good position exactly. I mean, like, I, I mean, I didn't think this. Sh- I feel like I feel like uh, Zach Efron in the movie That Awkward Moment at right. the beginning of the movie and shit. Right. He he ran into the chick that he thought was a hooker. That's what I thought. That's what I'm thinking. But uh, you know, here's what happened though, Carl. Here's what happened. This happened about like four months ago. Mm. We was fucking for like two, three weeks. Mm. You know, and like uh, because I'm a busy man and shit like that though. She had hit me up during the week, like, yo, what's up? How come you not hit me up throughout the week? Right. How come I'm like, just chill, you know? You you get a piece of me, girl. You get a piece of this when you get get to a second. Then she continued to hit me up, like, so that's what you own? Like, you get back to me when you want to and shit like that. Right. She kept doing it. Mm-hmm. She kept doing it. I'm like, this is some insecure shit you're doing. I'm keeping real with you. Right. I'm a busy man. Like, this whole fat. Mm-hmm. It came to the point. It came to the point. I was, you know what? Fuck this. We, we done. I can't do this insecure shit. Right. Like, damn, I respect my time. I respect yours. Right. She hit me up a month later saying, all right, so you, all right, so you just going to be done with me for real. Like, bitch, we only been fucking for two weeks. Mm. What do you mean when I'm done with you for real? Right. So now I found out she's one of my new boxes at my location. So I'm just wondering if I'm, if I, if, uh, all is well, if this, uh, if all is well in the position I'm in, that's true. Man, that's... Thankfully, it's only temporarily, but the shit just feels awkward. <laughs> it feels awkward. That's crazy. Yeah, just, but shit just, is awkward if you make it awkward. Bruh, <laughs> just keep that shit professional, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's one of them things where, you know, if if y'all can keep it professional, keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? If she on some other shit, then, you know what I mean? Just t- have a conversation with her. Be like, listen, you know, uh, I'm a professional at work. And we we got to keep it professional, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then if you notice she ain't keeping it professional, you're gonna have to you know holler at her higher ups and be like, listen, this chick is on some shit, and that's that. You feel what I'm saying? But as long as you keep it professional, a lot of times women generally, you know, will follow suit if you're not making it awkward. You understand what I'm saying? Because she might be feeling a certain way too. Okay. But if you if you started off where you're just keeping it cool. And then she see you keeping it cool because she might she may take her job seriously and, and want to make shit happen seriously. Then everything could be cool. You understand what I'm saying? But as long as you keep the keep your shit tight, you feel what I'm saying? Keep what you're doing on point. Right. Let if anything is going to happen, let her be the one doing some dumb shit so that you can, uh, you know, say, OK, look, I'm I'm the one being chill. And if you got to talk to somebody else, talk to somebody else about her and be like, look, this is the situation she acting kind of funny so that you're not the one in the wrong. If, if something goes down, you know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you just make it sure that you you're on your side. You're keeping everything cool. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So just keep that shit strictly professional and hire the higher ups in case some, right. some shit happens. Exactly. So, you know, exactly. I was just thinking, maybe I'm overthinking, maybe I'm overthinking the shit. Cause I'm thinking she might threaten to, for me to uncharge her after the game. <laughs> unless I be, unless I follow nah, hours, but nah, you ain't gotta do all that. Just keep it professional. Nah, you ain't gotta do all that. But yeah, just just but, uh, uh, you but, know, just that's it. I sounds pretty good, but definitely love today's topic, Ricardo. Keep doing what you're doing, boss. That's I did up. donate ten bucks. That's what's I mean, up. what's that? Seven, eight bucks. I hope that was enough. Appreciate bro, I'm it. I'm about here, bro. I know you got other calls coming in, bro. That's what's up, man. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, all right, man. No problem, bro. Damn, that's crazy. I'm. <laughs> Yo, you know what's the funny part? That's that's actually a good uh a good uh thing he brought up. See, this is why sometimes when y'all be um when y'all be fucking with these girls, and, and I I've talked about this before, it's even if you stop fucking with a chick and you charge this to the game and shit don't work out, you still always want to leave on good terms. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that a chick you were fucking with, or, or all the women you fuck with. Right. You don't want to leave it to where y'all was like, you know, cursing each other out. You understand? It was some heavy fucking negative type of vibe between y'all. You don't want that type of shit to go down. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't want that bad energy in case you run into them at some point or something else. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want You don't want to do that shit. You know what I mean? So G Money said, if a chick who has a boyfriend questions you on the chicks liking your pictures who is that why she keep liking your pics is that a sign of interest what are you saying if a girl who has a boyfriend that you know is questioning you about liking other chicks pictures what are you you talking about g-money what are you talking about g-money 
Because I remember, you, I remember you said something else on Steve's show or the show me and Steve did where you was talking about some chick you was hanging out with who had a boyfriend. Like, is this the same chick you talking about? You got to stop hanging out with this chick who has a boyfriend who got you in the friend zone, bruh. Man, uh, AT says, should he act like he's meeting her for the first time <laughs> as if he doesn't know her? <laughs> now, I don't think he necessarily needs to do that, but I think he just needs to like keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? He'd be like, oh, hey, what's up? How you been? How's everything going? And then just keep that shit professional as a motherfucker as, as you can. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I don't know exactly what the specifics happened between them, but, you know, in that environment, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. So G Money, you said that the chick has a boyfriend. So why are you why are you why are you even worried about some chick who had a boyfriend? Why are you what are you what are you doing around her? What are you why are y'all interacting with each other? You understand what I'm saying? And if she's asking you all that, she's just being on some attention horse shit, bro. Because usually chicks who have boyfriends and they be interacting with you, they just want they want to be able to have other male attention without having to do anything sexual so that they feel like they're not cheating. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I, I'm not fucking you. We're just friends, right? And it, usually that ends up them cheating in some situations because, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jasper Cooper, you said, how do you get a woman emotionally attached if you want to keep seeing her long-term? Uh, I've been ghosted after a third link with a woman. Well, that's the thing. Um, I, I talked about this before, a lot, like I talked about this a lot of times. When you first deal with women, right, that is the, the time when they're the least emotionally attached to you. You understand what I'm saying? First time, second time, third time, whatever. That's the time when they're the, the least emotionally attached to you. Don't let them fool you. Don't let these women fool you thinking, I, I, you know, I get emotional and I get, I get attached to it. No, 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 no. When a woman first starts fucking with you, that's the time when she's the least emotionally attached to you. Least. And so because that's the least, what happens is, is that it's easier for her to slip away. And this is why you have to play the numbers game. Because what you're doing is, is that, and, and one of the reasons why it's, it's the least is because you may be a guy who she's not really that into. You understand? Because what you have to understand is for everybody, men or women, the people we like the most are in the least supply <laughs> in most cases. You understand? So what that means is, is that most of the women you deal with are going to have medium to low interest. Right now, the more attractive you are, the higher the number of with people or women that have high interest in you are going to want to fuck with you. You understand? Or you're, you'll come across, but a lot of the girls that you meet. So you went on a, so if the girl goes to you after the third date, you were probably a guy. She was just kind of into, she wasn't really that into you like that. You understand? Or she could have been into you or she could have been into you. Or what happened is, is that her interests die down a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? That also happens. And then so she goes to you on that third date. But this is why you got to play the numbers game because, you know, a few of those girls, their interest is going to stay high or their interest is going to increase. And then they're going to want to keep seeing you after the third date. You understand? But it's a numbers game. You see what I mean? So you, you just got to play the numbers, bro. That's all it is. That is all it is. It ain't nothing more complicated than that. Antoine, you said, how did not get attached Especially if the sex is crazy. <laughs> Bruh, this, uh, listen. Listen, y'all got to live in a moment. You understand? You got to live in a moment. You got to talk to more women. Uh, you, you can't see. You got to stop looking at or, or pedestalizing the women in the situations. I get it. There's going to be some women that you're going to be like, man, this chick is bad. The sex is great. Oh, I love fucking with her. And then you start getting all, you know, Go, you start going crazy over the shit. But that's because what happens is, is that a lot of times when guys don't have a lot of experience with women, that'll usually happen. Or you might meet a girl who might be the hottest girl you fucked with ever in your life. And then you'll be all, you know, attached to the chick. You understand what I'm saying? Or you just haven't had sex in a while and you got some sex and you're all excited and you're like, damn, I want to keep fucking this girl. 
So understand that, you know, it's 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 the way that you're looking at it. It's the way that you're coming at the game. It's it's you sort of getting attached because of those factors. You understand? But it's not anything, you know, real or substantial is just all in your mind. You understand? There's all in your mind. So let me see. I, see, I saw somebody else had a, a question. Hold on. Um, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Well, somebody else had a question, but I think they took it off. But yeah, oh no, here we go. Uh, you said when you when you don't pay for women on dates, does that also eliminate you as a provider in their eyes, uh, leaving them with an uh, easier decision to make about whether or not uh, they'll fuck you? Well, it's the thing. It, it depends. It's not necessarily that they won't see you as that, but it's less likely they'll see you as that. It's more likely they'll see you as a guy who's more on the side of fun and sex. You know what I'm saying? Because see, what, what dudes that they see as providers, these are the type of guys that are going three, four, five dates and pay for all of those dates. And on top of that, they'll talk to these girls on the phone all fucking day. That's when they see a guy as like a beta male provider type motherfucker because the woman plays the role of the good girl to those guys and those guys are taking them out, whining and dining them, courting them and all that other stupid shit. You understand what I'm saying? And so they're definitely seeing those guys as boyfriend and husband material. You understand? Like I was in a, I was in a group on Clubhouse uh, yesterday and these chicks... These fucking women were talking about and shout out to them because, you know, <laughs> I'm not trying to get on them like that, but I'm just like shaking my head because they were talking about getting a man to commit to them before they have sex. You understand? They were like, we're getting guys to commit before they was like, don't give them sex. You got to get them to commit first. And I'm like, what type of dude? does that. And the thing is, there are dudes who do that and they're called beta males. They're called weak ass niggas who's going to commit to a woman before sex. See, any man who's not an idiot would understand how stupid that is. So I'm supposed to commit to a woman who I've never fucked. Does that even make sense? You understand what I'm saying? And how, (laughs) and how long, (laughs) How long are you supposed to like wait till you get till you commit? Like, am I supposed to commit to you in the first three weeks or two weeks or the third date? Like, when am I committing to you? Right? And they were like, oh, sex doesn't matter. You know, you can you can uh 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 no tell if you're gonna have good sex by having a conversation with the person. I'm like, you can't tell if you're gonna have good sex with a person by having a fucking conversation. You actually have to have sex. But see, what happens is you have a lot of women out there who are so desperate to get into a relationship that they're trying to leverage their pussy in order to get some dude to commit to them. But the only guy who's going to commit to that is a weak ass beta male dude. Ain't no strong masculine guy going to commit to no chick. (laughs) You understand what I'm saying? Like, Like for that, are you serious? Who does that? Like, that's like going to a shoe store and you're like, you, you, you're like, oh, well, I know my size is size nine or some shit. Right. And then you just get the shoes and walk away. No, you, you got to try on the shoes. You got to see how the shoes feel on your feet before you purchase. So why the fuck are you going to purchase some shoes? You don't even know how they feel or if they really fit on your feet like that. Because just because you are nine don't mean that you are nine and all these different types of shoes doesn't mean it's going to feel good on your feet. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to actually try it out. Same thing with, with dealing with these chicks. You understand? Dan, you said, can you train a woman into a non-monogamous relationship if she if she never had that, tell her directly or do it indirect and later without lying uh, showing evidence of other women, but not proof. Well, this is the thing. You don't necessarily have to train a woman into a non-monogamous relationship. If you're, if you're a non-monogamous guy, right. You just deal with her and date her as that non-monogamous guy. Right. And then she 
will acclimate to that situation. Now, there are certain things that you might need to talk about, like, you know, jealousy and all these other different things and how the relationship could go and all that other stuff. But it's really sort of uh, getting her sort of used to um, your situation. So it's not anything where, like, when you first meet the girl, you got to sit her down and do a damn presentation and teach her how to do this. It's more so like, hey, look, this is what I'm about. This is what's going to go down. And if you want to be with me, you got to deal with that. And then as she's dealing with you, she'll learn. You know what I'm saying? She'll, she'll, she'll basically figure it out. Now there are stuff you can tell her and, and, you know, say, but you understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let me get to uh five, eight, five, five, eight, five was popping. Who this? What's good, my downstate brother. What's good with you? What up, bro? Did you donate? Of course I did. It's just Jesus. It's probably, it's probably Jesus Christ right now. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. it to you, bro. So what's good? Know. What's good with you, bro? Shit, cool, man. What's good with you? Chilling, chilling. What's going on? What's going on? So like, all the thing is like it. You have to. And I like how you preach this. Like you have to get sex first. Like mm. it's so it's so important because like. Don't get me wrong. I, I want I, I want my energy to flow with a female as I'm talking to her to make sure that it's on point mm. and she gonna be on some bullshit and trying to like you know what I'm saying say I I say I say I try to harass her or something like that. I want to make sure everything is on point mm. when I get her number so we can fuck. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like the whole thing about that is like you you have to get the sex first, mm. period, and make sure she consents to it. Like mm. especially if she's young though. That's my whole thing because I'm like I'm 23. Mm. So I could fuck with a 17 year old chick because it, it's legal in New York State with consent though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my whole my whole, yeah, my whole thing with that is like approaching in grocery stores, Target. You know what I'm saying? Like what's your what's your take on approach in the gym though? How 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 careful should I be in the gym? Now you can still approach in the gym, but I usually say in the gym it's better to sort of like you know because like if you're in the gym usually. Usually you'll you'll see the same people periodically. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if it's a chick that you know just randomly see or whatever, you can still approach her and just have a regular conversation with her, fill her out, you understand what I'm saying? And then find out some things. Cause if you say, if you say to her, for example, you see a chick at a gym, you could say, Hey, you know, uh, do you did you just start coming here? I, I, I've I've never seen you in here before. You know, I've, I've never seen you. what's my what's your name? My name is so and so. So you you're getting information out of her, like, oh yeah, I just started yeah last week, yada yada yada, or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And so what I what I say for people mm-hmm. in the gym, a lot of times, if you know that this is a girl you see consistently, right? You don't need to 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 jump all it jump on it all at once. You understand what I'm saying? Because what happens is this. Is that, you know, in the gym, right? It's just like if you're at school, you understand, where you're going to constantly see this person. So what you want to do is, is that you want to be able to have the chick know you and know her. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you don't have to do this like for a long time. This could be like the, you know, by the second time you see her the third time, you try to make something happen. But at least she's familiar with you. You understand what I'm saying? And also you being the type of person who talks to people at the gym, period. So what I tell guys to do is this. I tell guys to uh, to talk to women at the gym just like they would talk to anybody else at the gym. So be social at the gym, period. You understand what I'm saying? So that when you're being social with her, she's just another person you're being social to. You see what I mean? And then so that's just like what you do. You see what I mean? So that, so that when it's something you do, because for example, let's say you're social at the gym with everybody. So that means that you'll probably be social at the gym with another chick. So imagine that girl you wanted to holler at sees you talking to another girl. And mm-hmm. then you talk to her right after that girl. You see what I mean? She's going to be more receptive to talking mm-hmm. to you because she sees that other people like talking to you. You see what I'm saying? And that means she's going to be a little bit more open to talking to you versus if you're just kind of randomly going up to her and trying to be like all about it at that moment. You understand what I'm saying? Now, it, again, you can do that, but what I'm saying is, is that your results usually will be better if you're just that your social guy and then you implement her into that whole social situation that you do. You see what I'm saying? So it's more of kind of like you're kind of, even though you're all about being direct, mm. but in that atmosphere, it's kind of like you're getting her to, you're getting her to chase you in, at the same sense of when you, you come in, you say hi to her, 
And right. you see her again. Now that's the point of, okay, if she's saying, if she's receptive, receptive to you again, the second time you see her at the gym, right. on some like, y'all not, y'all being friendly, but you just, you don't get to know where you're kind of easing your way in there. Right. But without going directly in there. Kind of. Right. Because the thing is this, like, let's, again, like I said, if it's a chick you see, right. And let's say, let's say this the first time you talk to her, right. And you just on some, oh, hey, how's it going? How's mm-hmm. your day? Blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, this gym is really good. I like going to this gym. He's like, and then she's like, yeah, this is my first time here, blah, 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 whatever, right? And so next time you see her again, right, she might say hi to you first. Like you walking down the hallway, she sees she's like, oh, hey, what's up? And you're like, oh, hey, what's going on? How you doing, blah, blah, blah. And then, then because y'all already spoke and y'all talked, then you could get some more information out of it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you know, what's going on? What you doing after this? And, you know, you know this and this and that. You understand what I'm saying? You get a feel for the, for the chick. You understand what I'm saying? So, because I had, I used to work at a gym. And so this dude that I knew who used to go to the gym, he was a master at this shit. Like he would do this shit all the time. So, and what he would do is, is that he would, uh, and I, and I, and I I would peep how he would talk to the girls to find out information without actually having to ask them something. So for example, there was a chick that was there. I remember it was like fucking, uh, like nine o'clock or something or whatever. It was like a night and it was like hardly anybody in there, but it was this girl there that usually comes all the time. And the dude mm-hmm. was there. So then he had spoken to her previously. Right. So then when she came in and she was like doing her little, her little workout or whatever, you know, she sees him and she says, Oh, Hey, what's up? And he's like, Oh, what's going on with you? And then she was like, I'm good. And he was like, he was like, um, she was like, uh, you know, he said, what did you do this weekend? Right. And then she was like, Oh, you know, I was just chilling with my friends and we w- went to get some drinks or whatever. And then so he says, he says, oh, so he was like, oh, so, you know, your boyfriend must have been uh, at home alone when you was having the fun with your girlfriends. Right. So then she was like, oh, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm, 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 you see what I'm saying? So like he's finding shit out about her without even having to ask her. You see what I'm saying? So now he's like, OK, she ain't got a boyfriend. So then right after that, he said, what you doing right now? He she was like, oh, I'm about to like just head out and go home. He's like, hey, you know, there's a spot around the corner. I'm, I was about to go get a drink. You want to come and, and chill? So she was like, yeah. So then he basically made a date happen, talking to that girl. You understand what I'm saying? Figuring out shit that was going on and was able to get a date right then and there through that interaction. You see what I'm saying? And that's a girl he talked to, I think, once or twice before in the in the spot. You see what I mean? So it's about creating an atmosphere where it's almost like, you know, you know, every, and he's, and he's the type of person who is very uh, social to everybody in the spot. That's how he would talk to everybody. You see what I'm saying? So that when, when right. he that's talked to her, yeah, right. Right. That's how I am. Yeah, right. Cause when he talked to her, it was like, Oh, he's just the guy, you know, he's a cool guy that everybody knows. You see what I mean? And so that's, that's kind of like a way you can do that. You see what I'm saying? And so, and now if you was to see the girl and you asked her, Oh, hey, do you, you know, uh, this is my first time seeing you in here. I, you know, I, I, you know, I speak to everybody. I notice everybody, you know, this is the first time I seen you in here. You know, I want to introduce myself because I like to, you know, uh, you know, know everybody that's in the gym, blah, blah, blah. And then she could be like, oh yeah, I just came today, but I'm not really, I don't really come here. So whatever. So now, you know, she ain't going to be there the next time. So you say, well, listen, since you're not going to be here, um, you know, I think me, you know, you seem kind of cool. We should like, you know, get together and, you know, get some popping off. Now, at that point, you would need to do that because, you know, she ain't going to be there again. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just talking, figuring out different situations. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And making the best move in those situations. You see what I mean? And then just understanding social dynamics. You see what I mean? So it's that, it's that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because it. Yeah, there would be so many in there, man. The bodies is just, mm. especially at LA Fitness Chicago, the bodies is just ridiculous. Man. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh my, I, because I be wanting to be on my direct shit, because I'm more, I'm more direct, like when I go to the grocery stores and shit, mm. but I kind of have to like, I want to lean back to be, I don't want to be like, you know, like on some indirect friendly shit, but like I have to be that way in the gym, which makes sense though. Right. Now you could, now you can be direct. It's not like you can't. What I'm saying though is, is that it's a little bit easier in that, in those situations to do it that way, because a lot of times what'll happen is, is that, uh, when women see this, this is how, this is how women, women are in these situations. Women don't go there to, to, to work out. Right. And they're like, Oh, I'm just here to work out. Yada, yada, yada. That's, that's their, that's their mindset. Right. And they know the guys are checking them out. They know the guys are looking or whatever like that. Right. But what happens Mm -hmm. is, is that, 
women generally don't like to be exposed. And so what I mean is this, is that a lot of times in those scenarios, if you go too direct, right, it's even though she may want to fuck with you, she might reject you because everybody's around. So she's thinking other people are looking and watching. And so in order for her to not seem like, quote unquote, that type of girl or seem like, you know, whatever, she might reject you just to save face. It's just like, for example, if you had a club and you see a girl in a, with a group of her friends, you got to pull her away from her friends before you could really go in. Because if you went up to her and her friends and you're like, yo, please, let me get your number, blah, 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 blah. Even if she wanted to give you the number because her friends are around, she don't want to look like a slut in front of her friends because she might have one of those friends who's judgmental or another friend that's feeling a certain type of way about a certain, a certain thing. And so she's going to save face. It's easier just to say no to you than to say yes to you and have to deal with what comes with saying yes to you with everybody around seeing her say yes. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why a lot of times you got to do shit on the low. This is exactly why when dudes are asking about quote unquote receipts, this is what I try to explain to them. It's actually going to hurt my personal life to show niggas receipts. Because if I show a receipt of some chick right. I'm fucking, then the chick I'm fucking is going to be like a Lucario. Why you put me on blast? And she's not going to fuck with me no more. So why would I put her on blast <laughs> and fuck my shit up for niggas that, you, do you understand what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about with dudes. They don't be understanding the game is that you, you got to do shit on the low and be discreet. You understand what I'm saying? And that goes for, you know, anytime you're doing shit in the game is that this is why, for example, if you listen to, um, shout out to Alan Roger Curry, when he talks about being mode one and he's talking about being direct and he talk about some sex shit, he usually, you, you usually hear him say, you know, speak in her ear. You understand what I'm saying? And it's the reason why is because mm -hmm. he's saying, yo, keep the shit on the low. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it's about. You see what I mean? And so when you're at the gym and if you're in a situation where you're trying to get at the girl, you could be direct, but it's better if there's nobody else like around in that particular situation or whatever it is so that the people in the surrounding areas are not going to hear what you're saying to her and for her to have to respond. You understand? In that manner. So when you're when you're just being friendly to everybody, just having a conversation, uh, you know, and, and just keeping it chill, it happens in a way where it seems very like, you know, like natural of how it occurred. You understand what I'm saying? Just like when I said my, my the dude that was at the spot at the gym where he just was like, oh, yeah, let's I'm about to leave. We should like, you know, hang out and do that. You understand what I'm saying? Because it, it, in that environment, she's just talking to the guy that everybody knows and talks to. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not a big deal. So it, so so she doesn't stand out in that situation. You see what I mean? So that's that's the thing you got to understand. So when you guys are talking to women, you always have to look at the context in which you're talking to her and, and knowing how to make the thing happen. This is why where even Steve would say, you know, give a girl your, your number, or give her a card or whatever. It's because if you're talking to a girl at work, you got to keep it on the low, right? So that, mm -hmm. so that she doesn't, you know, get in trouble. Because if you're sitting there talking to some girl at the cash register and you're like, yo, ma, let me get your number, blah, 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 blah. And she's trying to write down a number and then her fucking coworkers are seeing her, her boss is seeing her, the customer, you know what I'm saying? So she's like, she ain't trying to do all that. You see what I'm saying? So you keep it on the low. Hey, miss, listen, you know, uh, I think you kind of cute. Here's my card real quick. Just put that in your pocket. Holler at me later. And then you keep it pushing. You see what I'm saying? That's how you got to do it. You see what I mean? Yeah, I got to make me some. I got to make me some cards, bro. I got to. I got to yeah, figure out what I want to put on the cards, though, too. Right. Which one, besides my business cards, and then my just like uh, my regular like. What? How, how should I? How should I design a card for like that? What do you think? Like, what should take on that? Nah, simple. Just your name, number, fucking uh, you know, if you got some social media, Instagram type shit, and that's it. Really, it ain't got to be nothing crazy, and and just put something like you do. Like if you, you know, it could be any of your hobbies, like if you're a musician or whatever you do for work. You know what I'm saying? Just just put your. I'm a poet. Yeah, poet. Right. Workout. Right. Just put some on there. You understand? It, it don't. It don't really matter as long as it has your information for her to get at you. You see what I'm saying? You give it a card and say, hey, you know, text me, call me at this time. And that's that. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I, right, I make sense. I'm so used to orchestrating the whole shit because, like, because bitches don't forget on some shit. Like, but they really, if they really want to make it happen, 
They're not gonna lose that fucking car though, right? The car they're gonna make sure that, oh, that car is that shit like fucking money. That's what I'm saying. So again, if the interest is there, she's gonna make it happen. That is that simple. You see what I mean? Wow. Okay. So don't be direct at the gym. Mm-hmm. Easy then and then but be direct everywhere else though. Like the, right. the grocery and again, store, Target, right. Walmart. The- and again, you can't be direct at the gym. You just gotta make sure that when you are doing that, if you are gonna do that. It's in a situation where she is not exposed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Meaning, like, you don't want to do that while or, it's like, oh, you're not seeing her like that, right? Like, where there's a bunch of people around and all that other shit. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So, well, give me an example. Uh, well, hold on. Give me an example of how you would do it, though. Like, if you was being direct in the gym, real quick before I let you go. In the I gym, yeah. If I, if I was being direct in the gym, I'd just basically say, say the same thing. Be like, hey, hey, miss, listen. Um, you know, I saw you from across the room. I thought you was sexy as hell. I'm about to head out. But what I want you to do is I wanted you to take my number. Here's my card. Hit me up tonight and we'll talk about a few things. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? Straight, straight like that. But again, I, w- I would only do that if I'm only going to do that in the context of if let's say we were like, you know, in, in like, let's say if there was hardly anybody in the gym, if there was, if we were in the hallway at the corner somewhere and nobody was around listening to us. That's mm-hmm. how I would do it in that in that manner. You understand what I'm saying? Because again, you got to you got to take into account the entire situation. You see what I mean? And then and then you got to look at the best course of action for that situation. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. And then what the bro, I, I just want to shout this out for all the guys listening to though, the car you. Mm-hmm. That whole you, I like when you you said when the chick has her phone out, and I, and I, it's my favorite pick of my life. You ready for my number? My number is such, right. such, Five eight five, boom, 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 boom. Right. That shit, man, Lucario. Mm. When I mean that shit has worked for me, Lucario. Mm. Man, that shit is so different and unique because niggas ain't doing that shit. I'm like, yeah, right, I want you to right. Put your phone in, I want you to put my number in your phone mm-hmm. and text me right now. It's it's like that shit right there. Is that did you? Is that your whole shit? Like, where did you get I mean, that? I, I, think that, I think that's yours, huh? I mean, that's that shit that I've been doing for for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit I used to do all the time. You know what I'm hey, saying? You think, no, did you think of it? Did you come up with that though? That yeah, that's some, like, that's some oh shit I came God. up with. Yeah, that's some shit I've been doing. I've been doing that shit. There's a lot of shit that I came up with just being in in the in a specific situation in the moment. That's what I'm saying. Like all all of the all of the things. That's what I'm saying about context and and the situation. The situations is going to give you things that will make th- to do. You understand what I'm saying? It's like that's what I mean. Like so, for example. There, like, uh, I was over um, in uh, the city once, and I was at a spot, and it was mm-hmm. a chick, and I was there with my boys, or whatever, we chilling, and I see this chick dancing, but she was dancing by herself in the corner for about maybe fifteen minutes, right? And so, I finally went over there, and I said to her, I said, "Yo, I said, I said, how long are you gonna be dancing by yourself? I said, when is your boyfriend coming, right?" So then that's the only thing I said to her and she started laughing and shit. And she's like, she's like, what makes you think I got a boyfriend? And I was like, I was like, well, you know, I mean, I'm looking at you. You don't seem like you're crazy. You kind of cute. So I'm assuming a woman like you got a boyfriend. I was like, so you ain't got a boyfriend. And then she was like, no. And I was like, damn, I was like, well, listen, some might, you, some might be wrong with you. So I'm, a, I'm a, I was like, I'm gonna leave you right now. I was like, listen, it was nice to meet you. And she started laughing she, and then she grabs me. She's like, no, where are you going? I'm not crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So like, we start talking and flirting. Oh shit! But I'm just I'm just using the situation. You see what I'm saying? And 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 creating something in a situation to make it interesting. You understand? That's that's what I that's what I'm teaching guys about how to make the thing different. You see what I mean? So use the situation to your advantage. Come up with something interesting to say that's going to get her attention, and then you go from there. That's it. You see what I mean? Right. That that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, man. I know one last thing before I let you go. I need my downstate. I need. I want to find me a laundry chick. I need to do my fucking laundry. What's your <laughs> take nigga, on that? This nigga, I need a laundry chick right you now. Need, you need a girlfriend, brother. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Do. Get that shit out and stop fucking with these young girls, yeah. yo. Get get girls your age, bro. You ain't got to. You ain't got to go all the way down to fucking. Ladies. You 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 crossing the you at the border yeah. of the. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, hey, nah, this is a cardio. I hate the fresh water, man. Like, yeah, shout, shout out to Eddie Fuse, man. I, thought, I, I go for the fresh water, man. <laughs> go, go at least 18, bro. God damn. All right. So, <laughs> all right, man. All right. I'm, I'm going to holler at you, bro. Appreciate the call, my brother. Yo, yo respect. Look, I respect. All right, man. All right. Peace. Peace. <laughs>
Man, that shit crazy. Oh my goodness. And my eyes itching like crazy. Like motherfucker. Shit. All right, so we'll go another 15 minutes and I'm gonna head up out of here. Um, and tonight me and Miles is gonna be on uh uh Mr. 1950 show. So make sure you guys subscribe to Mr. 1950. We're gonna, you know, talk about some things. You feel what I'm saying? And get that shit going. You feel me? Y'all dudes is fucked up. Y'all talking about R. Kelly is, is giving him notes. <laughs> Y'all terrible. Oh, man. Tamir said, second date meeting at a hotel tomorrow. We kissed uh, and had lots of sexual tension. First date. She bought, uh, I guess she's trying to say lingerie just for the occasion. Something simple I can do to show appreciation. Nigga, just fuck her, bro. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, that's all you got to do, man. That's all you got to do. You feel me? You ain't got to do nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to uh, 251. 251, what's popping? Who this? What's happening, Lucario? It's your boy, Anthony. What up, my brother? Did you donate? Oh, uh, did I don't? No, I didn't donate. I got to donate. Oh, on this floor. man, you got to donate, bro. You got to hit the, hit, the, hit the cash app or the PayPal at the top of the chat. You feel what I'm saying? And then call right back, all right? Yeah. All right, Mala. All I right. got you, I got you. All right, so guys, hit that donate button. But uh, yeah, the call in number is 516-387-1224. And remember, guys, get the how to get women to pay for dates on the Patreon. You hit the $20 tier, you feel me, right? And then you will get this program and you're also going to get all the other uh, programs on the Patreon, which is the bad boy show and other exclusive stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And when you're on the $20 tier, you get how to have sex with two women a day, the ebook for free. You feel me? So make sure you guys uh, get that shit cracking, get that shit going. So that's how we can get that going. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, put a Q in the chat. You said, how was the best way to flirt with a chick on Twitter or Instagram? Actually, you should look up uh, my dude, Royal Flyness, has a book called Tweet Her and Meet Her. So, so go, go Google that. Tweet Her and Meet Her by my dude, work Royal Flyness. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Royal Flyness. He has a whole book on that. That shit is, is, is dope. Man, that's crazy. King Lisa, do you have the audio book? On a deal, I already have the ebook. Now nah, the audio book is uh the same price. You feel what I'm saying? The audio book is the same price. You, if you guys who whoever don't like to read, you get the audio book, get that shit cracking. Man, but I'm working on this new book. Um man, I, I you know, I didn't realize how much I hate writing books. <laughs> like I want the book to be done. But I hate writing it. And, you know, I know you could get some ghost writers to write the shit, but I, I, I need I, I'm very particular about how this shit goes. So I got to write the shit myself. You understand? But but yeah, the, 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 the new book is coming. I don't want to say the name because I want niggas stealing because niggas on YouTube be stealing like a motherfucker. He said, do you find cutting? Uh, do you find yourself cutting off more chicks than getting them? Um, yeah, pretty much. This, let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you why guys is going to happen. The more you, the better you get with women, the more women you got to cut off. I'm going to tell you why. Because the better you get at women, the more attractive you become. The more attractive you become, the more women come your way. The more women come your way, the more women you're going to have to cut off. You understand? So if you're a guy who doesn't really interact with women that, that much. You don't even have a lot of women to cut off. You understand? You don't have a lot of women there to cut them off. You understand what I'm saying? But the more, the, the better you get at the game, the more you're going to have to cut women off. Why? Because you're going to have more women that you're dealing with who are not up to par. And two, you're going to have women who aren't going to uh, want to adhere to what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Because 
the more attractive you become as a man, usually the more arrogant you become. You understand what I'm saying? The more you be like, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I ain't dealing with that bullshit. You understand? You, you just, so, you know, and, and the thing is sometimes it could get, it could get too much. So sometimes you got to check yourself. Cause sometimes you just start cutting chicks off, you know, a chick cough wrong. You ain't feeling that. You're like, nah, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> you what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, I don't like the way she coughed. That shit was disrespectful. Fuck out of here. Right. So you don't want to get too, you could get too, like I've been there where I'm like, I don't like the way she said that. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna fuck with her no more. I'm she's done. And the chick be hitting me up. She wondering why you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> she wondering why I, I'm not returning her text or call. And I'm like, I don't like the way she's, I don't, I don't like the way she was breathing. That shit was disrespectful. I don't like that. I was on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the way she said thank you. She said it kind of condescending. I wasn't feeling that. You understand? And the reason why you, you're able to do that is because you keep getting more girls coming in. You understand? And so it's easier to get rid of them because you got so many coming in. Like, especially, for example, if you do uh, online dating, right, and you're able to, uh, you know, get a lot of matches, right? Now, let's say... um. Let's say you want Tinder and you getting like 30 matches a day. Just, to, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you get 30 matches a day. Right? What's going to happen is, is that you got so many chicks that you could talk to. You start to say, well, I want to get the best situation. And then you want the path of least resistance. Right. You want a chick who's going to cooperate heavy. You want a chick who is, you know, not going to make shit difficult. So as soon as the chick start acting difficult, you're like, all right, she's done. I got 20, 29 more to go. You understand what I'm saying? You're not going to sit there and, and spend a bunch of time with this one chick because you got 29 left and then more chicks keep coming in the queue. You understand what I'm saying? That's what that's what happens. So you'll 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 naturally start to cut more chicks off. You see what I mean? That's going to happen. Because your standards get higher. And you get more women trying to come through. And most of those women not going to make the cut because they're not they're not they're not adhering to what you want. And then you're going to have women who they realize what they need to do to fuck with you and they're not willing to do it. So then you got to cut them off. See, that's another side of the spectrum. See, guys be thinking that, you know, uh, just because you're super good looking or you're this high value guy that it's going to be easier for you to get women. Now, maybe easier in co co you know comparison to a guy who's just he ain't got nothing going on and he's not attractive. But it doesn't make it easy because you have women who don't want to adhere to what you're trying to do. And then therefore you can't fuck with them. You understand? He says, is it better to confront a chick about why you're not feeling the situation in order to improve it or just leave her alone? Well, it depends. If it's a girl that you've been rocking with for a minute, Right. And y'all got you had something going on and you know, what I mean, she's been you, you've been seeing her for like seven, eight months consistently. Then, yeah, you, you know, tell her, be like, listen, man, this, this ain't working out, blah, 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 blah. Right. I feel like at that point, yeah, you should definitely tell her. But if it's a chick you went out with twice. Right. You don't really need you like, man, I'm done with that. You could tell her if you want, like if she asks you, then, yeah, you could tell her. But you ain't really I, I see you just got to keep that shit pushing. Cause it ain't that deep. It ain't that serious. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't that serious at that point. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the more I'm telling you, the more you, the more you deal with women and the, the more confident you become as a man, 
You understand? The more attractive you become, you put up with a lot less shit. You put up with a lot less shit. I'm telling you. And, and therefore, that's going to cause you to charge chicks to the game. You understand what I'm saying? So you got You got to understand that aspect. Let's go to uh, two two five one. Two five one was popping. Yo, what up? Yo, what's good? What's good? I'm calling back. I donated. I just donated. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. What's going on with you? No problem. Hey, man. I was. Just, I'm just. Oh my god, that's a lot. of like. Hold on. Uh, I was at Subway today. I went to Subway, went to get something to eat, mm. and I see this fine ass girl. Right. So I'm ordering food from this girl. I'm trying to ask her out, but I literally just froze up. I ain't know what to say at all. Mm-hmm. Like, like what what tip do you have for somebody that just frees up and don't know what to say? Well, the thing is, usually you don't know what to say because you're you're not you're not really clear on what you want. Like, what did you what did you want from this chick? Like, what did you want to happen? I mean, shit, I want to get with her. I want to, you know, take her out, smash. They'll do my thing. All right. So that's exactly what you say. Hey, miss, how you doing? What's your name? Stephanie, listen, uh, I saw you from across the room. Listen, what I want to do is I want to take you out, smash and do my thing. So what's good with you? What's your number? That's it. <laughs> that's all you got to say. Like, it's that simple. So just like that. Just like that. It's just just like 90 that. seconds. Yes, exactly like that. And what I'm saying, and the reason why is because what you're what you're saying is is authentic to what you're really about. So what's going to happen is that if you're saying it, and the thing is, you gotta you have to actually be comfortable saying the shit you're saying. You see what I mean? Because basically, she has to yeah. that she has to respond to that. You see what I mean? Because that's what you're that's what you're offering. That's what you're uh, telling her the experience is going to be when you're dealing with sixty. Her. You seconds. see what I'm saying? Because what happens a lot of times is mm-hmm. the reason why. When it's like this, right? The reason why uh, a lot of times either you get a chick that's going to play games with you or chicks will reject you or whatever it is like that is because when you when you approach her and you and you interact with her, she doesn't feel what you're saying. She doesn't feel what you're about. So therefore, the response usually isn't what you want. You understand what I'm saying? So, for example, if, okay, look, look at it this way. Look at it this way. Let's say you was, let's say you have a kid in, in uh, I don't know, junior high school or some shit, right? And let's say, you know, he's like kind, kind of like a, a nerdy dude or whatever, right? Let's say there's a du- another dude in the yeah. school who's supposed to be a bully. Imagine if that bully comes up to that nerdy kid and he's like, hey, uh, hey, uh, nerdy kid. Um, hey, I was wondering if, uh, if it's okay, like if I get your lunch money, like, is that cool? Like, I mean, it's okay if you don't want to give it to me, but I'm just wondering, can I, you, you think that the, 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 the nerdy kid is going to respond to the bully with fear and you understand what I'm saying? And anxiety or like, you see what I mean? Like the bully's not coming at him with that energy. That's going to make the nerdy kid respond in the way that the bully is expecting. You understand what I'm saying? Because he's not really comfortable and authentic with what he's trying to do. You see what I'm saying? So what happens is that when you talk to women, you know what I mean? You have to come at them with authenticity and you have to be very, uh, you have to stand on what you're saying. You see what I mean? And so what happens is that whether she says yes or no, what happens is that you're getting an authentic response from her versus getting a response based off of you being nervous, being inauthentic, being, you know, all over the place, because what you want her to do is you want her to reject you on your authenticity versus her rejecting you on being on some bullshit and being nervous and not knowing what to say and all this other stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just want to be authentic with it and not like nervous. Either way I say it just, just say it basically. Right. You just got to let her know what it is because again, it's like you, you, you ever, you ever see, cause you ever see like, uh, cause I bet you like, okay, so you didn't, you didn't talk to that girl, right? 
Uh, no, I just told her what I wanted on my sandwich and got my sandwich and got out of there. Right, right. So, and and were were you thinking when you left? Damn, I wonder what would have happened if I'd have hollered at her. You was thinking that? Hell yeah, I right. would beat myself up in the car. Exactly. And so, what happens is the reason why <laughs> you saying that you're thinking about that is because you were not sure what would have happened. So, anytime you leave a, a, a situation like that, you want to be sure what happens. So the only way to be sure what happens is not only to talk to her and tell her certain things, you have to talk to her and tell her in the most authentic way so that she can give the the most relevant response to what you're saying. You see what I mean? Because let's say, for example, let's say, for example, I, I see a chick and I'm like, damn, I want to fuck the shit out of this girl. Like, that's what I really want. I really want to have sex with this girl. Right. But then let's say I, I go over, I go over to her and I say, Hey, miss, uh, you know, you seem pretty and cool. And, you know, I think we should like hang out and be friends. Right. And then she's like, she looks at me, she's like, you know, I don't really, I don't really, uh, you know, want to do that. I, I have enough friends. Right. But I really want to fuck the shit out of her, but I'm talking about, Oh, Hey, let's just hang out and chill and be friends. Right. Now, what happened is, is that I got a response from something that wasn't the actual thing. So I don't even, I have no idea if she wants to fuck me. All I know is she don't want to be friends. But if I would have came over and said, hey, look, miss, you know, I think you're sexy as hell. I think we should get together and hook up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you my number and we're going to get this shit popping. Now, if she said, nah, I'm good. Now I actually know that she don't want to fuck me. Because if I leave that situation and, and talk about just wanting to be friends, all I know is that she don't want to be friends. I don't know that she didn't want to fuck me because I never approached her letting her know that I'm trying to hook up. You see what I'm saying? So whether or not she says yes or no, it's best to be authentic in the situation. So you know what the real answer is, what the real situation is, because you never know what the real situation is. If you just walk away or if you're just saying some other bullshit, or if you're being all like nervous and acting all weird, because now she might reject you because of you acting nervous and weird. And if you were being confident in saying what you said, right. she probably would have said yes. You see what I'm saying? So you want to know fully what the situation is in that situation with you and that girl. You see what I'm saying? That's what you want to know. And that's and the, the only way to do that is you have to be comfortable and authentic in what you want to happen. So when you approach a girl or you're thinking about approaching a girl, right? What you say to yourself is, what do I want to happen with me and this girl? And then you just relay that. Like you might, you see a girl and you might want to take her out to, to, you know, get some drinks. You go up to the girl, be like, Hey, listen, miss, you know, I saw you from across the room. I thought you were sexy as hell. I, I had to come over here because, you know, I didn't want to leave without telling you that I want to take you out for some drinks this weekend. What's good. You understand what I'm saying? And just say it just like that and let her respond. She might be like, Oh, I got a boyfriend. I can't. Okay, cool. That's no problem. Or, oh, no, I'm not really interested. Cool, no problem. Or she might be like, okay, that sounds good. Here's my number. Boom, right? But you're getting the actual authentic response because you were being authentic first in the situation. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's how you got to go at it. You see what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I feel like, I, yeah, I was just, I was just thinking too much and I was overthinking it. Mm. And like, it was like long pauses. I was making long pauses talking to her like, mm. Trying to basically ordering my food, I was making long pauses because she was just so fine. <laughs> I was like, damn. See, and, and, and the thing is, <laughs> yo, because you don't worry about getting rejected. Don't worry about how it's going to look. Like, what it is is that you need, you understand what I'm saying? You got to get into the zone where you're used to that, where it's, it's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You just like how, listen, because you, you were so flustered. You can even order the food. You feel what I'm saying? So, so that's the thing. You want to be, you want to get it to the point where you're, you're so used to talking to chicks that's that bad. You're so used to talking to chicks, period, that it comes out naturally. You see what I'm saying? So you're not even worried about it or thinking about it and it comes out naturally. And then therefore you get more of a natural response from the girl. You see what I'm saying? And like I was telling the other caller in those situations, if she's working at the spot, you should already have some cards or something with your name and number on it and just slide it at shit and be like, listen, you know, uh, I think you cute as hell. What's your name? Or you see her name, what name tag her name is probably like Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, I think you cute as hell. Listen, I want to give you my card right here. I, I, you need to call me tonight. You know, what, what time you get off? Seven. Cool. Hit me up. Seven thirty. Let's talk. 
right? And, and see if we can make something happen and just slide to the card and walk away. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's it. You see what I mean? And, and yeah. it's that simple. So got, you just got to make it happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You can write your number down on the card and just that's smooth. I ain't gonna lie. That, that's smooth. Right. Either yeah. either write it down or have it already have cards with your numbers on it already and then just 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 slide it a number. Because see, this is what you want to know. See, the 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 thing is you want to be able to know what's happening or, or what could happen in the situation or what can't happen in the situation. Because the thing is, you could be talking to, you could be like thinking about, damn, I want to talk to this girl, I want to make something happen. And you approach her and this chick probably fucking is married or she a lesbian. You understand what I'm saying? Or whatever. You don't know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so you need to get to the point of what you're trying to do so she could respond and let you know what the deal is. You see what I'm saying? And, and that, that's what it is. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. So it's just a numbers game. I just gotta yeah, keep approaching girls, and approaching girls is gonna become normal. Right, exactly, exactly. And just don't you ain't gotta think about nothing special to say. Now, when you're more advanced in the game, there's certain things that you can say and do in certain situations that can bring out like you know more interesting outcomes. But generally, you know, on some basic shit, you just tell the chick exactly what you want 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 to happen. You understand what I'm saying? Just tell her exactly what you want to happen. And that's uh-huh. it. You see what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Hey, man, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate the advice. All right, man. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, Mahala. Yep. All right, peace, peace. All right. So, guys, that's pretty much it, man. Let me... Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Remember, guys, make sure that you go to the Patreon... And check out how to get women to pay for dates. It's at the top right here. I have it pinned to the top of the page. So it's going to be the top one. As soon as you go to the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Mr. Locario, patreon.com slash Mr. Locario to check that out. And you can also check out all the bad boy membership programs on there. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys get that shit cracking. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to the moderators. Shout out to April MC in the building, getting it cracking. Shout out to Unique 79. Shout out to Kelly Moore. Um, shout out to everybody, you know, tuning in um, and, and, and just rocking with me. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Make sure you guys go to um, Mr. 1950's channel because me and Miles going to be on there at nine, uh, you know, chopping up some game. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it. And I will holler at y'all later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. I'm out.